How much longer till we get to Dallas? I don't know. My phone died. Do you think we're gonna make it on time? Not too sure, but we'll definitely get there. But if we're late, we'll be disqualified. Annie, calm down. You're doing that thing again. What thing? That thing where you start to freak out. Everybody does that. Yeah, but yours is very specific. Whatever. I've seen your portfolio and your walk a dozen times. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, I know. But do you even understand how big of an opportunity this is for us? Like, I could be living in New York by this time next week. You? Yeah, me. So you don't think I have a chance to win this either? Well, everyone has a chance but there's only one girl who gets picked by the modeling agency and it can't be both of us. And I'd hope you'll be happy for me when I win. Get out. What? Get out, I don't wanna drive with you anymore. Well, how the hell am I supposed to get there? Not my problem. So you're just gonna leave me here in the middle of nowhere? Don't forget your bag. No, I'm not leaving. I'll see you there. Give it to me. Okay? I'm fine. What do you want? Well, usually people don't walk on the side of the highway. Usually friends don't kick other friends out of their cars. I see. Well, uh, I'm headed north if that's any help to you. Is Dallas north? Yeah. siblings? One. Where are we? Uh, I figured we'd go in and get something to eat. Can you just get it to go? Uh, sure. What do you want? Nothing. Actually, do you think they have pizza? Yeah. Is that what you want? Yes, please. There you go. Thanks. No problem. So anyways, where are you from? Houston. Galveston. Is that where you got into modeling? Yeah, I started when I was like six. It was a way to help me cope with some issues. What kind of issues? I don't want to talk about it. Okay. What? Nothing. It's just usually people try to get to know things about me. Well, I'm not going to press you into talking about something you don't want to. Well, 
when I was younger, my parents divorced, which at the time wasn't really that big of a deal because I was still able to live a normal childhood. I was pretty spoiled. Well, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a matter of trying to stay humble. And see, that's my problem. It took me getting kicked out of my best friend's car in the middle of nowhere to realize that I'm selfish and self-centered. No, I don't think you're selfish. No, really, I am. But I guess losing that friend doesn't really matter anyways. Why do you say that? Because I'm really determined to beat out those other girls and win that competition. I see. Well, we should get going then. Yeah, can we? I don't want to be late. Well, this is your stop. Thank you, Matt. Honestly. No problem. I hope you get that contract. Hey, wait. You okay? Yeah, I just realized I'd rather not do this. What do you mean? I mean, I don't want to do the competition anymore. What? Why? Well, I'm trying to change for the better, and I realize that this competition brings out the worst in me. After getting kicked out of my friend's car and seeing how nice you were to a total stranger, made me understand that there's more to life than trying to be perfect. Well, where to next? <laughs>